Hey, what's up, guys? Pig Mask here, looking today to cast a game. Uh, well, not between any teams. Not between any teams. Uh, this is a uh, this is a random draft game that I'm casting. A friend of mine played it. I have not seen it. I don't know how it turns out. Uh, but I figured I would cast one. I've been casting games from the Ghostu League from uh, from the end of November that took place within the last uh, I think three weeks, and. Uh, I might cast some DreamHack games that just uh, that just ended. <clears throat> I wanted to kind of I want to kind of move up to live games, you know. But uh, I'll get there. I'll get there. And uh, but right now we're doing a random draft game. This is random draft. Uh, again, I know one person in this game, and everyone else I have no idea who they are. And I know he was playing by himself. He does not. He's not part of a pre-made or anything. So. Yeah, I don't know if this is good or this is bad. I know he is in. He's somewhere around the middle. Uh, he's got a, a, you know 400 and some wins. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this will be entertaining. At the very least, uh, I hope it's not boring. Whether it's good or bad, it's you know as long as it's not boring, that's what we want. So again, you still cannot see, uh, you know who's getting drafted in the middle here. I wish you could. I really wish. I really wish that they would add that. Right now, you got to look at the very top of the screen. So, right now, we're going to have a Necrolite, a Slardar, and a Drow Ranger on the Radiant team. And they're going to be going against, at the moment, a Kunkka, Juggernaut, Zeus, and Rubik. So, uh, it looks like the uh, the Radiant are going to be rounded out with a Sand King and a Wisp. It's an okay team. Uh, not the worst combination. I imagine Necrolite is going to end up being played as a support hero he's kind of a he he falls somewhere weird between support and like semi carry his uh he does have a heal you know but the heal also does damage i guess some people kind of forget i don't know and uh he's an intelligence hero so i think people kind of group him into into support but he's not because a lot of his skills are really based on killing things things a support hero should not be doing his ultimate is pretty much uh it, you know Pick a target and kill it. Now, that's not something a support hero would do. He also gets incredibly tanky and can just kind of stand in the middle of a fight and just keep, you know, the boom, 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 hitting, doing all this damage and living. Uh, not something, again, a support hero does. He, uh, but, you know, he's whatever. Um, I imagine he's going to be kind of supporty this game. And uh, Wisp is going to be a hard support this game. Gank Ganktastic probably with, uh, with maybe... Drow Ranger, Slardar perhaps more more reliably. Slardar has that nice stun, and is pretty tanky in his own right. And uh, yeah, well, before we uh, talk more strategy here and get into the game, let's take a look at uh, at exactly the teams we've got here. We have Acid Bath playing the Wisp, and uh, we've got Deech playing Sand King. It looks like he might be laning with Wisp on the bottom. In the middle, we're gonna have. Uh, Javel playing the Drow Ranger, that little crystalline bow. Up top, we're gonna have uh, Uchimaru playing the Slardar, and then the much talked about Necrolite uh, played by a uh, Garage. The battle begins. So that's the team we've got uh, for the Radiant side. For the Dire side, we're gonna have a Juggernaut played by Rax. Rax is going to be landing up top with Broken Cycle. This is my friend Alex. He's playing Rubik. In the middle, we're going to have uh, Superman playing uh, the Zeus. Zeus is going to be going mid against that Drow Ranger. Drow Ranger doing lots of physical damage. Zeus doing lots of magical damage. Uh, I think Drow is going to have the advantage here, but we'll see. Uh, and then uh, looks like we have, we need one more up top. It's uh, Metali, the AFK Kunkka. Is going to be landing with the the uh, siren, the Naga Siren, who uh, I'm just going to call Naga Siren. So those are the lanes. That's what's going on, and we'll see how this turns out. If we take a look at uh, some builds. Rubik picking up a magic wand or a magic stick rather at level one, looking to get that magic wand very early. And it could be okay. That can be an okay, uh, an, okay an okay way to go. I don't know if it will be in this lane because of who he's laning against. It's going to be Slardar, who's not going to be casting too many spells. And it's going to be a Necrolite, who's going to be casting spells on occasion, but probably not too many. Probably not enough to justify an early, an early stick, but we'll see. Juggernaut getting two slippers, six tangos, and a salve. 
I guess that's all right. Gives him a pretty good amount of damage. Not much survivability, though. Uh, branches. <laughs> that's what I would say. Branches are better. Get more of them. Get a lot of them. And, uh, yeah. But if he wants to get that early... If he wants to get that early poor man's shield, that's fine. Um, so, yeah. Th this isn't this isn't bad. Uh, this isn't bad. But, again, he, as, as you can see, he's getting harassed a bunch by Necrolite. So, uh, is getting caught here by Wisp's Tether and then Sand King's Stun. And that's going to be a... Uh, Actually, not a, not a first blood because Kunkka got killed, I think, by uh, Creep, and it wasn't really clear who would get the first blood. So, no first blood there, but Kunkka is the first to die. Wisp with boots and gauntlets, uh, or a pair of gauntlets. Like Necrolake got Rubik up top. Kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of, kind of strange. Wisp's item builds can be always weird. No uh, healing from him though, and actually, he bought a courier and didn't use it. Uh, so that's fun. That's that's always a good time. Buy the courier, don't use it. And, um, you, you, what you want to see on Wisp really are, like, uh, Salves. Those are real good. Those go twice as far on Wisp because of his tether. You know, he can heal two people with a Salve. And, uh, he didn't get that, so I don't know. I don't know if I, if that's good, but he, and he's, uh, he's going back into town now to use that courier, I guess. So that's a good time. Good times all around. Good times. We see a, uh, Quelling Blade on Kunkka. He should be pretty safe here to use that, though it's two melee heroes in, uh, Kunkka and Naga actually kind of both need some farm here, so I don't know if this is a great lane. And Kunkka has that Quelling Blade, so he's going to be the one getting it. And Juggernaut's going to get caught in the corner here. Uh, no, actually, wow. He uh, he didn't get seen by Slardar. I don't know how he didn't get seen by Slardar, but he didn't. And now Slardar's going to get slapped around a little bit by Rubik. The Necrolite did die, thanks to Juggernaut, a little while ago. And uh, we'll see if Juggernaut tries to help Rubik out a little bit. He looks like he's going to, but I don't think Rubik needs the help. I think that tower is going to finish him. And it does. Rubik getting that last hit on Orichimaru. So, it's pretty uh, pretty back and forth top lane here. Zeus getting a pretty standard regen gauntlet. And draw with two slippers. Some regen. That's okay, I guess. Gives her a good last hitting ability, the slippers. But again, uh, more branches might have been better. Gives her more survivability. And against a guy like Zeus, she might want some more survivability. Just because he's going to probably be nuking her down pretty heavily. She does pick up a level of silence and then maxes precision aura. Rubik going 1 1 1. Um, I don't know if that null field is really necessary right now. It will help against Necrolite, but I don't think that, that that's their biggest worry. Uh, I think maybe another Fade Bolt might have been more helpful. Because most damage is probably going to be coming from Slardar. And uh, now Rubik has that magic wand. Completed. Maxing Tidebringer first, and um, and then a level of Torrent on Kunkka. That's pretty okay, but he does get caught by Wisp's Tether and then Sand King's Stun. Let's see if Kunkka's gonna get out of this. He's not. That's uh, that Wisp actually finishes him off, and it's been rough for Kunkka. It's been a rough rough few minutes for Kunkka right now. Naga Siren does not get Mirror Image yet, which is fine. She's going two levels of Ensnare and then and then going for Riptide. Hopefully, she will get Mirror Image before maxing any of these. Mirror image. Really great with Riptide. And just great in general. It gives her survivability, gives her gives her damage, gives her uh, you know, pushing ability. It's something you definitely have to pick up. You want early levels of that mirror image. Not super early, you don't get it first, but you know, by level five you should have a you should have a point in it. Pulling Necrolite in, trying to do something, but Necrolite is just going to use his missing. Death Pulse and back away because Necrolite is, uh, he's one of the harder heroes to kill. He picks up a level of Heartstopper, which is good. You want an early level of Heartstopper, which actually goes through Magic Immunity, which uh, Juggernaut is exhibiting right now, and uh, Slardar not quite no. aware. Heartstopper goes through the, the Blade Fury, but uh, Slardar's Slytherin Crush does not draw Ranger coming up top, trying to finish off that... Juggernaut, and she's going to. She's going to jump behind that tower for just a moment. Take a, take a shot as well at Rubik, and uh, Slider is going to try to do something here. Slider is getting beat up, but it's Draw Ranger in her haste room that's going to end up finishing off Rubik, and Rubik actually used his magic wand to try to do something, but she is. It's like a truck right now doing 108 plus 18 damage. Down on bottom here, we have Kunkka getting caught again. Oh, poor Kunkka. It's, oh, wow, a nice torrent, though. Barely saves him. And that's actually going to be a dead Sand King. Kunkka finishing off Sand King with a well-placed... Uh, well, I well placed, well placed Tidebringer. I was gonna say, but he didn't place that. He just said, "I'm gonna attack," and then things are gonna happen, and they did. 
So Zeus finishing off Slardar up on top. Zeus uh, doing pretty all right right now. He's got a good skill build going, maxing out Thunderbolt. Uh, and then uh, getting one level of Static Field. So that's pretty solid by Zeus. And now Rubik going for that Fade Bolt. Juggernaut. He's doing pretty okay as well. Sometimes you might want to see some stats if he's having survivability issues. I don't know that he really is right now. He's died once. I wouldn't call that a survivability issue maybe, but stats can be real helpful on Juggernaut. He does not have his uh, poor man's yet, but he has not been able to get over to the side shot quite yet. Maybe pretty soon. Maybe once this lane gets pushed down. Sand King finished off Kunkka. Kunkka now has three deaths on his, on his, uh, on his belt. One kill, three deaths. On the Kunkka, Sand King at 1-1-2, and, uh, oh no, Naga trying to turn Sand King into 1-2-2. Uh, two, two. Trying to finish him off on a Wisp with a Tether, though, onto Sand King. Stuns, uh, stuns Naga and makes her run away. So, Sand King is gonna make it out. Naga not able to kill him by himself. By herself, rather. And she did not pick up a level of Mirror Image. So, Slaudar is foregoing the sprint sprint i like to see a level of it you know good escapability good uh chase if you have to though it's risky because you take the extra damage instead choosing to go uh crush and bash i don't know one level of bash is fine early but uh it's it's a little iffy it's the naga siren with her ultimate zeus is coming on in so is kunkka and they really want to take down uh oh man she mistimed that riptide she was time the Riptide did nothing. Oh, and an ultimate at Epicenter from Sand King is going to end up killing Naga Siren. And Wisp ends up surviving. That was just a poor play from uh, from Naga. And that's something you see kind of across the board in uh, outside of competitive games is people don't understand the timing of Naga's ultimate. You have to turn it off, wait for a second, and then use her Riptide. And uh, whatever else you want to use. Instead, they uh, they seem to either not turn off the, the Song of the Siren or use skills too early, and they do nothing. So, uh, in this case, she used that Riptide a little early and it did nothing. Necrolite getting pulled closer. That's actually maybe a poor poor idea from Rubik to pull Necrolite closer, because that's going to allow that Death Pulse to hit him. Had he not pulled Rubik close, or uh, pulled uh, Necrolite close in, it might not have hit him. And Slider really, I think, wishing he had a level of Sprint right there. We might be seeing him pick that up at, at, uh, at level 7, because that would have been a kill for him. Draw Ranger finishing off this middle tower. If Zeus had a little more mana, he might ult. That wouldn't kill Drow, but Zeus, uh, Zeus uh, players can get very, very uh, trigger happy on the uh, on the ultimate, on the Thunder God's Wrath. It does have a short cooldown, though. 90 seconds, that's not so bad. 90 seconds at cooldown gives you True Sight, gives you a lot of damage to everyone all across the map. Great ability, great skill, but that trigger finger gets real itchy. I notice on a lot of Zeus players, once they see someone at a little bit, you know, they're half HP, it's like, I'm just gonna... Just boom and it doesn't kill anyone and uh it's you know they get frustrated who's going to be frustrated in a second though here is going to be necrolite and slardar because they have a gank from naga siren and zeus coming uh, kunkka rather coming up towards them so slardar might escape this one and uh and necrolite should as well oh and the oh no but who's not going to escape it actually uh necrolite is not going to escape this draw ranger is going to try to do something now to juggernaut but Juggernaut sneaking through the trees, Slardar with a nice crush onto the Naga Siren. Naga Siren, though, is going to uh, survive, and Zeus is going to finish off uh, Slardar. Draw Ranger is going to finish off Kunkka, and now Draw Ranger is going to flee from uh, Naga Siren and Rubik. If Naga Siren, oh, she doesn't have enough mana, she needs 10 more mana for that net. And uh, Draw Ranger is getting cocky. She wants to kill Rubik, and I think she will. She does enough damage to kill him. One more shot, and that is going to be a dead Rubik. Rubik is... Oh, he... Oh, I thought that, that that net was going to save Rubik. But instead, Rubik and Naga die. Oh, man. All right, well, Draw Ranger, she has some balls on her. She has her Shadow Amulet, and uh, she's going to be having a Shadow Blade pretty, pretty soon, I think. This is not Sand King and Zeus cross the path. I didn't think they were gonna. I thought it was you know a little little high five and then some uh, you know hey I didn't see you you didn't see me action going. But instead Sand King says uh, uh I see you Zeus and I'm gonna get some gold out of this. But Zeus actually tries to turn it around. Wow he almost did. Zeus got real close to turning that around, but not quite able to. Sand King picking up the kill. 
has just enough HP to outlast Zeus and then uh, uses an urn. Now Rubik is going to try to do something here to Sand King. I don't know if he's fast enough though. Sand King uh, getting picked up by uh, by Rubik and then Fade Bolted. Sand King is going to run away. He's got a double damage rune on him. Slardar is going to try to intercept Juggernaut. He does not because Juggernaut says, no thank you, sir. I'm not going to fall for that trap. And nothing really happens there but Zeus with his ultimate. And there's that itchy trigger finger. And it ends up paying off here for uh, Zeus killing Sand King, who only had about 100 HP. And Wisp is almost dead as well. If uh, if Kunkka could get close there, he could take a swing and maybe finish off that Wisp, but only has 86 HP. So we might be seeing a dead Wisp in a moment here, unless Draw Ranger has something to say about it. Uh, Mac Truck Draw Ranger might have something to say about this in just a moment. And I don't know if Zeus and uh, and Kunkka see ne a Necrolite. If they saw a Necrolite, that would have been a dead Necrolite. And if they were a little quicker, they could have gotten a dead uh, Wisp out of it as well. But hey, Draw Ranger, she has... Oh, there's a boat. There's a poorly timed boat. Uh, yes, sir, it was Kunkka. And uh, that Draw Ranger is going to die a beautiful dodge. In a, by, by which I mean, a, uh, I'm going to turn step left here. And oh, look, here comes Sand King. What, what do you know? Dodge. I don't think Kunkka saw that coming, but it doesn't matter because Sand King missed his stun, was not able to uh, follow up Kunkka with any kind of offense. And we're going to have a 3v3 at this tower, just maybe. Perhaps in the jungle, perhaps the uh, Radiant team are going to try to turn this into a 3v3 fight. I don't know necessarily, though, that uh, the Dire Side wants it. And nice uh, steal from Rubik, getting the uh, Sand King stun, and I think he's going to use it to his advantage here. And there's a little, uh, little payback on the Sand King. And uh, nice Tidebringer, nice, uh, nice Torrent. Oh no, is they really not going to kill anybody here? Is is the Radiant going to escape? Okay, good. They got Slardar. Zeus should just use his ultimate. He should just say, just do it. Just use it, Zeus. Come on. Oh, Zeus. Just hit R. Just hit R. Where's the trigger finger? Where's the damn trigger finger, Zeus? Use it. You'll kill him. Oh, Zeus. Ah, oh, gosh. Zeus, what are you thinking? Come on. Just kill him. Uh, just use it. You have the mana. You have the gets off cooldown, dude. He doesn't have an urn. Ah, Zeus. That's frustrating. Zeus. Well. <sighs> That's... It's the worst. Alright, well. Naga Siren is gonna get beat up here from a nice Sand King stun, but she has her ultimate up. So Draw Ranger ended up killing Rubik. And uh, Naga Siren just pieces out and walks away from that little fight. Zeus now is going to try to get in on something. No, no he's not. The Radiant team are going to push onto Dyer's bottom tower. Right now we actually have the Juggernaut in the jungle farming. We have Necrolite by himself up top, so Juggernaut has Omni Slash up. There are not, well, no, there are some targets there. So he might want to wait on that, uh, on that Omni Slash until there are fewer targets. A nice boat, wow, that was a... That was a great boat. Barely hitting all three heroes. Sand King now killed by Zeus's ultimate. And uh, Slardar is going to try to flee here. Zeus is going to... Oh, that, I think that was what he should have waited until he had a little bit more mana. He could have used his lightning bolt and maybe killed Slardar. Wisp getting killed, though, thanks to Rubik and Kunkka. Kunkka with a double kill on Slardar and Wisp. Rubik picking off Drow Ranger. And uh, that's four for naught to the uh, dire team. And Juggernaut is running around here trying to do something to Necrolite. I don't know what he's thinking, though. He needs a little mana and he can Omni Slash, but there are lots of Radiant Creep around here. That Omni Slash will not kill the Necrolite. At least not yet. But, you know, Necrolite, Necrolite is such a deceiving hero because, like I said before, he's an intelligence hero. You don't expect a lot out of an intelligence hero, so at quick glance, you're like, oh, it's a, it's a Necrolite, I'll just go finish him off. No, it's whatever. But no, he's got Death Pulse, right? He's got Death Pulse, so he's healing himself for 275 damage every single pulse and dealing 275 damage to you every single pulse, which only has a five second cooldown. He just spam, spam, spams that, and suddenly, you know, he has more HP than you. Sand King killing Rubik on the bottom, and uh, we might have a dead Kunkka as well, getting slowed by Draw Ranger, and Draw Ranger using her Shadow Blade now to finish off Kunkka, chasing him down and dealing that extra 150 bonus damage. So that's a pretty effective uh, Shadow Blade usage there by the Draw Ranger. Shadow Blade is a pretty good skill, pretty good item, uh, good damage, good attack speed, pretty good pickup for Draw Ranger. Uh, especially in an environment where you maybe are not going to see a lot of detection. It'd be nice, though, right, if Zeus or Rubik would pick up some detection. Some dust would be great. Um, 
That'd be fantastic, because Drow is gonna... She's gonna be very escapable thanks to that Shadow Blade. So, hopefully that'll teach someone a lesson there, and, uh, and one of these two will get dust. Or, or Zeus will just be ever-present, because Zeus does have True Sight with his Lightning Bolt and with his Thunder God's Wrath Ultimate. Um, but again, he has to cast it on something for that to, for that to work. And, uh, oh man, Rubik getting caught by Necrolite. And I'm waiting for Necrolite to use that Reaper Scythe. Once she gets low, he's going to use it, I think. Where is it, Necrolite? Oh, there's no Reaper Scythe coming from Necrolite. Maybe on the... No, nothing. Here comes... oh, there it is. There's the, the, the boat, though. The boat did some good damage there. And Zeus with a triple kill. Man, Zeus. That was a nice Thunder God's Wrath. And now, uh, now Kunkka's gonna have to use his torrent. Where's the torrent, Kunkka? No, it's not there. He's gonna run. Kunkka's gonna flee from the Sand King. Sand King gonna take a couple of tower shots, but Sand King then turns around and says, you know what, no, I can kill this Kunkka. I can do something to this Kunkka. I can't be invisible around a tower, though. And, uh, I don't know what Kunkka would think about that one. I don't know what he was looking for on that, but... Sand King with the solve. Sand King just has... Jeez, how many solves does this guy have? This is, like, the third one I've seen him use. What was Zeus doing there? Running into Roshan's pet and getting slapped. Oh, it was a tragic day indeed, Mr. Zeus. So, we've got uh, Kunkka with a Shadow Blade now. So we got a couple of Shadow Blades here. And uh, each team actually has some invisibility detection built right in with Slardar's uh, Amplify Damage. Will uh, That's a, maybe a little more reliable of, a, of an invisibility detector. But Zeus as well, on the dire side, has some invisibility detection with his Lightning Bolt and with his Thunder God's Wrath. Both uh, give a limited amount of invisibility detection, but uh, it's still something. And if no one wants to buy uh, buy some dust, then it'll be something that they have to rely on. So we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. Drow Ranger, though, she might be trying to be sneaky here and take out that, uh, that Rubik, but no, she's not going to be. I was hoping for it. She's got her treads sitting on power, and uh, I don't know if that's... I, I do I you know when I pick up power treads I'm not gonna I'm not gonna front I do like to leave them on strength just because uh, the HP boost is nice it's like it's like 200 and some HP and it's pretty it's pretty good especially on a squishy hero like Drow she'd be at 800 HP right now not these she's breaking the thousand thousand dollar mark so it's pretty good it's pretty good Slagar casts his amplify damage on the Rubik and Rubik is gonna just oh that's yeesh and uh, man. Who didn't try to get in on that? Everyone wanted to get that Rubik money. And uh, it ended up going to Wisp. Probably the one here who needs it the least, I guess. But hey, well, you know, hey. Kill's a kill. A kill is a kill. And uh, the Radiant are going to benefit from it in some capacity. Double Sand King damage. activates a double damage rune. Now we have a, uh, a Zeus getting silenced and then just assaulted brutally by the, uh, by the Draw Ranger. And then he pauses. I don't know what was that about. So we have a Song of the Siren down. Zeus is going to be saved. I don't know what that pause was about. Comes about. Turns off the song. And it hits Necrolite. That was not bad. That was not a little bad uh, improv combination there. But here comes an Epicenter that hits nothing. And uh, Thunder God's Wrath getting dropped down. And uh, the Naga Siren dies anyway. That was, that was, that was a mix of poor play and... Uh, and just botchery from both sides. That boat does almost nothing. Thunder God's Wrath does minimal damage. Epicenter it doesn't. I think it maybe got one epi one like one one wave off on like it like, hit like Naga once. Um, so all in all, though, the Radiant are gonna win this uh, win this fight because they're gonna get Naga and they're gonna get that tower. Sand King picking up that tower kill. And uh, Necrolite healing up the team and pushing that wave. So that's pretty good by Necrolite. Right now, the Dire team needs some towers. They have none. They have no towers at all. And the Radiant team, they have one, two, three, four, five towers down. And it looks like they might have a Kunkka down them as well. Kunkka's getting stunned by that t Wisp Tether. He does get a boat off that hits nothing at all. And uh, down goes Sand King, perhaps? Perhaps? Yes, Sand King drops. Thanks to Rubik. And Wisp also goes down from that tower kill. Juggernaut picking up a kill on Drow Ranger. And Slardar also getting killed. Wow! The dire side just goes five and one defending that tower, and uh, man, they first they they lose a hero in the tower, and then the uh, the radiant I guess just got so overconfident they're like we're just gonna push 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 get this mid tower all the way, and they don't get anything except a nice heaping helping of uh, comeuppance. And that was Zeus calling GG saying Drow is too fed. Drow uh, she does have a lot. Let's see if we take a look at net worth for a moment here. 
She's at 7,000, which is going to be about 1,300 over the one below her, who, thankfully for her, is also on her team. That's Sand King. Sand King is at 5,700 net worth with Draw Ranger at 7,000. And then uh, and then it kind of skips between Dyer and Radiant back and forth with Naga and Rubik at the bottom of the pile. Rubik doesn't need much farm, but Naga could use a little bit. The, pro the biggest problem with Naga Siren um, being in this game is... Uh, she doesn't really have anyone to combo with with her Song of the Siren. She has, I guess to a point, uh, someone like Kunkka, you know, but that's so dependent on placement. That, that's Before you could have said, if you know, hey, if, if you have Darkseer on your team, you can vacuum them in, and then Kunkka can just boat all of them and torrent and do a, you know, 600,000 damage. But uh, you can't. You can't. They, a, they don't have Darkseer, and B, that doesn't work anymore. The vacuum doesn't work on immune heroes, which uh, would classify everyone affected by Song of the Siren, so right now, essentially, Naga can use her ultimate, and then uh, Kunkka can hope that there are heroes in range of his boat before we saw it hit, you know, Necrolite, which is better than it hitting nothing, but not really that effective. A full HP Necrolite getting hit by that boat doesn't do that much for Kunkka or his allies, and so, uh, Naga's not terribly effective this game. Naga's not terribly effective this game, and, uh, it's a shame, I guess. You know, Naga. Naga is a fun hero. I like to see. Uh, I like to see Naga get picked and played, because uh, she's got some cool abilities. But we're not going to see too much from her this game. And we have Wisp hanging on to Drow. Drow is pushing forward. It looks like she's going to be picking up a Manta style in a little while. And uh, Rubik trying to pull Drow onto the top, the top ground maybe, and then jumping out. Oh, that was a suicide move by Rubik on that one. He was talking about people giving up, and uh, looks like he just gave up on life there. And wow, that boat hits nothing. I thought that was going to for sure hit a wisp, but it didn't. Naga Siren now getting assaulted by the Draw Ranger, getting slowed, but not enough to kill her. Wisp as well getting beat up, but again, not enough to kill him. So, kind of a push there. Rubik ends up dying. He jumped out a little early and uh, paid for it. And this is bad news for the Dire. Every single lane is pushed down. Top lane being pushed by the heroes. Middle lane on the creep and bottom lane as well. The creep are on that tower, and now... The, uh, the top lane is going to get pushed in onto the high ground. Draw Ranger and Wisp just shooting onto that tower. Just bang, bang, bang. That tower might drop real soon unless Naga Siren can get in here and do something. Naga Siren dodging the Sand King stun. Juggernaut and Kunkka both picking up a kill on Draw Ranger and Wisp. Sand King ki getting killed as well. Juggernaut killing Slaradar with, I think it was an Omni Slash. Yeah, it was. So, all right. Again, the Radiant team getting a little overconfident. And then Naga Siren singing a song of celebration here. And uh, I think that's all it's going to be. Is a little bit of uh, a, a little a little serenade for her her team pushing forward a little battle hymn of the republic and uh, Necrolite's gonna maybe get away I don't know though no he's gonna get pulled back by the Kunkka Kunkka dropping him right back onto there and again mistiming there by uh, by Riptide but it ended up working out Zeus with a kill with with a beautiful kill now Zeus has his scepter there is no courier upgraded on the radiant side or on the dire side rather I'd like to see that maybe. Uh, Rubik going to pick up his mechanism here. He's got his, uh, he's got his, uh, his headdress. So we might be seeing a mechanism pretty soon from Rubik, which is going to be great because the, uh, the, the biggest damage dealer on the side of the Radiant is going to be the Drow Ranger, who is hitting, 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 hitting with, uh, with, uh, physical damage. So something like a hood wouldn't be that useful. And now Rubik again taking the uh, the burrow strike. Burrow strike is being stolen all the time by Rubik, and it's been proven to be somewhat useful and somewhat detrimental when he uses it to push down the stairs into the center of the enemy team with no one behind him. So we'll see if he pulls that again. But right now, what we're gonna see is Draw Ranger probably gonna chase down the uh, the Naga if she can. She has half that duration. Oh man, Naga is gonna try to sneak through here, but nope. Sorry, Naga. Sorry, Naga Siren. You should have teleported earlier. Because Drought is a little too much damage for you to, uh... For you to try to pull that... That teleport. So we've got a Scepter up on Zeus. Let's take a look at items, I guess, real quick here. Scepter up on Zeus, Battle Fury up on Juggernaut. That could be prove... Uh, that, that, that could be something that is useful. That is very helpful to him, because hopefully... He'll be able to farm up a little bit right now, because the uh, the dire side can use a carry to go up against Drow Ranger. I don't know if he'll be able to at this point though, because she is working toward it's like a Helm of the Dominator maybe, 
and uh, and the Mantis style simultaneous. I don't know. Sort of guessing she's going towards. So I don't know. I don't know what drives up to Hel Helm of the Dominator. She's somewhat going to. But that is a moot point because she is tough right now. Necrolite working up to a, uh, a Scepter, it looks like. The Scepter is not a great pickup on Necrolite. Really, it, uh, I don't have the exact percentages offhand, but with his, uh, his level 3 Reaper Scythe, he can kill you if you're at like 42% uh, like lost HP. And then if you pick up his Scepter, it brings you to where you can be killed at like 48% lost HP. So it's only like a 6% gain it's not really that worth it for 4200 gold i know um it's not something i i typically pick up as a necro because you just don't see the benefit that much and uh wisp is gonna get killed here here comes a boat that's gonna hit sand king and uh he's gonna get killed by naga siren so rubik picked up a kill on a wisp necrolite picks up a kill on the juggernaut my fate. there shall be shankers by the acres juggernaut's battle fury is four not in that fight and he uh, he was just out of position. I think he was just busy farming up, and Drow and Necrolite said no, thank you. So Kunkka has a Shadow Blade too. He's got a Shadow Blade and some Phase Boots. The Naga Siren is as well farming up in the jungle right now. She's going for a Vanguard, it looks like. Pretty late to pick up a Vanguard at this point. And Rubik is going to get killed again, I think, by that Draw Ranger. Draw Ranger just does so much damage right now. 174, uh, 134 at this point when, uh, when there's an enemy nearby. But it was sitting at 174 just a moment ago. 174 plus 89 damage. That is an incredible amount of damage. 27 minutes into the game, attacking twice a second at just about. So... Draw Ranger is not someone to mess with. She's gotten super farmed up, but she is very squishy. So someone like uh, someone like a mix between maybe Zeus and Kunkka can kill her pretty fast. Zeus alone can run in and hit a, a lightning bolt, like Thunder God's Wrath, and you know, and whatever else he's got, and she'll die. She'll go down fast. But the die are gonna have to work together a little more in order to make that work. And at the moment, though, the Radiant are going to try to pick up a kill on Roshan. They want to get that Roshan kill, that Roshan gold, that Roshan Aegis, and uh, make Drow a little bit more, uh, I guess, survivable. She'll be able to get in there, deal some damage, get killed, and then pop right back up. And Zeus uses his Thunder God's Wrath and sees that Roshan is in peril. So in comes the uh, in comes the uh, dire team trying to do something here on the uh, on the radiance. Juggernaut coming in from behind with Rubik, but Draw Ranger is going to escape. And no, no, Draw Ranger going right back after Rubik because Rubik is a squishy target. He has less than a thousand HP. Here comes a boat from Kunkka. That's going to hit Slardar. Slardar getting killed. But oh, what an epicenter from the Sand King. Sand King picking up two kills. And uh, not able to not able to actually pick up those kills though before Drow and Slardar and Wisp all go down. And now Necrolite I think is going to go down too. Yeah, Juggernaut picking up a kill. So that was a pretty good turnaround by the Dire team. I did not expect that entirely. But a few heroes on the Radiant were hurt after the Roshan attempt. So that was a beautiful time to uh, to go in and uh, and deal with the, uh, the Radiance. So, Naga Siren picked up someone else's uh, Slippers of Agility. That's it was going to be Drow's Slippers of Agility. I don't know what she's doing with them. But she still wants her uh, Vanguard, so she's going to pick that up right now. Uh, I don't, again, don't think that's that useful. This is 30 minutes into the game. 40 damage getting absorbed is not that much. You want to pick that. If, I mean, in the first, like, 10 minutes in the game, 15 minutes in the game, it's okay. It's a pretty good pickup, depending. 30 minutes, yeah, he's, Jesus, go for a raw HP at that point, I think, over a Vanguard. Or armor, armor is great as well. She could pick up a plate mail, you know, for the cost of that, uh, that Vanguard. Plate mail and change. So, that's probably the route I would have gone if I was her, but, you know, if, if she feels comfortable getting a Vanguard, that's okay, I guess. That's gotta be heavy, though. It's, it's, that's a lot to carry, and she already carries two swords, so I don't know how she's carrying that shield now. Wisp now has a, uh, a uh, it looks like he might be going for, I don't know, I don't know what he could be picking up with this uh, 
Perseverance. A Bloodstone, I guess. Bloodstone is pretty okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not sure what Wisp is looking to pick up here. A Heart can be a nice pickup on Wisp. A Bloodstone as well can be okay just because it does give a lot of regen and you, uh, you give that regen to your tethered target. Sand King with a nice blink onto Kunkka, but Kunkka is pretty tanky at this point. Picking up a Desolator or something, it looks like. So, Kunkka getting caught by Draw Ranger, and a nice net on the Draw Ranger now by Naga Syra. Naga Syra gonna try to finish off Draw, and she, I think, is gonna be able to. Zeus actually picked up the kill. Juggernaut picking up a kill, and with Sand King with a kill, and Rubik. And uh, the epicenter from Sand King hit a few uh, good number of heroes, and Slardar is gonna come in with Necrolite to kinda to take advantage of that well-placed epicenter. And Slardar and uh, Naga Siren dying. I think actually Naga Siren might have gotten killed from the Heartstopper aura. So Sand King and Necrolite proving to be uh, reliable, long-lasting uh, fighters in this one. Again, Necrolite still at full HP, even though he was in that entire fight, pretty much. So that was three for five in favor of the Radiant. So, this middle tower, I think, has a very high chance of dropping right now. It's 14 seconds until Rubik is up, and Rubik alone will not be able to stand up against the Necrolite or Sand King. So, at the moment, let's see what, Sa what uh, Necro might be going for. He has that Scepter, and then not much else. I would like to see a Bloodstone on him again. You want to, uh, you, you want to get survivability on someone like... On someone like Necrolite. Necrolite is a hero who, the longer he's in the battle, the more damage he's going to do, which sounds pretty obvious, but the fact is he can cast Death Pulse frequently. And Heartstopper Aura just does percentage damage over time. So, you know, you keep him in a fight for a while, it does 1.5% of their max HP per second, so you keep him in a fight for a few seconds, and he deals quite a bit of damage uh, to everyone around him. And then, of course, his Death Pulse just pulsing, 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 and he, he uh... He, he ends up being a real force, kind of a, a sleeper in a fight, because he's not very flashy. He's not very flashy at all. I'd actually like to see uh, see auras come back, like graphical auras, so you could actually kind of see what he's doing. But Valve added it briefly and then took it out, so we'll see. It, auras do make the game look kind of busy, so it, maybe it would be nice to uh, to see them come back a little more subtly. Draw Ranger attacking at a .44 attack speed and just mowing down Roshan thanks to Wisp. Wisp needs to turn off his overcharge. Okay, unless he wants to retether. And that's going to be a dead Roshan and a Draw Ranger picking up the Aegis. And now the Naga Sour comes in a little bit late. If she should have done that a moment earlier and it would have been perfect. What is Rupert going to try to steal, if anything? No, he's just going to kind of just chain stun a few of these heroes. Zeus with a nice ultimate. Sand King as well coming in with an epicenter, not hitting much, just Zeus. So Kunkka kills Sand King and Draw Ranger kills Zeus, so that's one to one. And uh, Draw Ranger did get killed herself, but she has the Aegis, so she's gonna pop up, and there's gonna be a net on her, I have to assume. Where's the net? Oh, where's the net? It reveals invisibility if she tries to sneak away. Oh no, she doesn't even try to sneak away. Juggernaut kills Wisp now, and a Slardar is gonna try to flee. I don't know if he'll be able to, though. If, uh... No, he, he might get away. There's no one that's going to be able to catch him, I don't think. No, Slardar. Slardar, Slardar, you are gone. You're going to match up with your buddy Necrolite. Who's at full HP? As he always is. Necrolite, has, he has two modes, Necrolite. He's, he's, he's alive or he's dead. And uh, if he's alive, he's at full HP. If he's dead, he's at zero HP, obviously. So, I don't know that Necrolite has HP between full and zero. Because you never see him uh, in that state. Radiance now a tower goes down. Finally, the Radiants lose a tower to uh, to the Dire. That's going to be that tier 1 bottom tower getting dropped. Juggernaut's going to farm a little bit in this jungle. He's got a Battle Fury. He has a Yasha. I don't know if he's going to be going for a Sanjin Yasha or if he's going to be going for something like a Manta Style. A Manta Style, I think, would be a preferable pickup this late in the game. Sanjin Yasha, pretty okay for chasing people down. And it gives you a little bit of everything. But at this point in the game, if you're a carry especially, you have to commit to something and he needs to commit to damage because... Because the, uh, the Dire team are lacking it. They're lacking physical damage. They do good magical damage. You know, with Riptide and Zeus and, and Kunkka's Boat and, and, and Fade Bolt and all this. So they need some good physical damage and uh, a Manta Style on Juggernaut, which works well with his crit. It's pretty good. That'd be pretty okay. Slardar killing those mirror images. Real, real good. Wisp has an urn. 
He's got a, he's going for a mechanism on him. Mechanism is real nice on Wisp. Mechanism and Arcane Boots basically double heals people that he's tethered to. So, well, not basically, it does double heal people. So, that can be pretty good and give people a pretty big heal with a Mechanism on Wisp. Juggernaut does go for the San Yasha. I don't know about that. You know, they, uh... The Dire team, they have a good amount of slows. They've got, you know, Kunkka's, Kunkka's uh, Torrent, which is a nice stun. They have the, the amazing Net from Naga Siren. They have Telekinesis from Rubik. I don't know that they need the Maim, the Greater Maim on Sanjin Yasha. Uh, I would have seen, I would have gone for maybe a Manta instead. Makes him, it makes him very mobile, but it's, yeah, I don't know. It, I... Uh, his, his uh, Blade Fury is a little... It, it's strong, but it loses a little bit of its strength by the you know mid-game. So, you can keep up with them now with the Sanjin Yasha and the Phase Boots, but it's not going to deal optimal damage. Not as much as I, as I think a Manta style may have. But he did not go for a Manta style, so we're talking theoretics here. Sanking has a Blink Dagger right now. We've got uh, Zeus the Helm of the Dominator on Vrow, and she almost has that Manta style. She just needs the recipe. Maybe she's waiting to pick that up. No, she needs some more gold still. But hey, uh, Drow Ranger, once she gets that Manta style, is going to be even a harder hero to deal with. And what is Rubik doing? Rubik is wandering into this team. Oh, that's that's a sad state of affairs for Rubik. And now Kunkka's going to get caught. Kunkka getting caught by everything under the sun. And Drow Ranger picking up the kill. Necrolite is also there to make sure he dies. Another, another attempted kill steal. Juggernaut's GG. He could he could be right uh, because it is currently three v five, and this Drow Ranger is real tough. So, um, no Naga Siren, what are you doing? You're wasting his uh, his his Blade Fury. That's just giving cooldown opportunities for some of these heroes. So an Omni Slash comes in from Juggernaut, but not able to do enough. Draw Ranger, Sanking, and Necrolite all picking up kills. So that's five down on the Dire side. Radiant now just going to push in. They're going to get these middle racks. They're going to rotate bottom or top and get those as well. So that is, I think, going to be uh, officially from, uh, from the Dire. So Radiant picking up this game. Pretty much what happened was Necrolite was not respected, and uh, Draw Ranger was more or less uncontested in middle, and she was able to get all the farm she needed, and then went ganking, because she's doing 300 damage a shot right now. She almost has her Manta style. She has everything she could want. So, uh, Wisp had a pretty decent game as well, not getting his uh, his mechanism to double heal people, but he was able to make Draw even stronger. Slardar, uh, Slardar had no again as well. He could have used Sprint earlier. Slardar could have used a level of that. A level of Sprint may have made this a more definitive win. Because as definitive as it seems, it is 38 kills to 39 kills. Uh, and the... The Dire side, they, they had some good plays. They definitely had some good team fights where they, they would kill five, four or five of the, uh, of the Radiant side and then just... I guess they weren't, they weren't effective at pushing. They would split off, maybe? Uh, or sometimes they would, uh... They would just not concentrate well enough on pushing and, and instead choose to go farm or something. They needed to push more. The Dire needed to push a lot more. Dyer's Ancient is under attack. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of this game. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is just a random draft game. I'm going to be jumping back into programs pretty soon. And I'm working on getting a streaming channel up as well. So, uh, until then, subscribe to the channel, please. Subscribe, subscribe. I like the numbers going up, so... Uh, yeah, this channel is Real Pig Masks. Subscribe, check it out. That's where you're at right now. Thanks a lot, guys. And, uh, yeah, have a good one.